Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name is Chris Cubbage. I'm the executive editor with My Security Media. We're at the Andy Thomas Space Foundation Australian Space Forum. Dr. Razit Abay, who is with FutureFi, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me. Great. Now, you're a, a sparkling brand new uh, startup working in AI and machine yes. learning. Uh, introduce us to where you're currently at as a company and uh, yeah, your focus. We'll, um, we'll yeah, about maybe I should just start with uh, introducing myself. Of course. Um, I have interesting background. Yeah. So I am formally educated as a computer engineer, as a BS. Nice. But then changed the direction and I did my master's in uh, astrodynamics. Yeah, right. And PhD merging machine learning nice. with the astrodynamics. And I did it at UNSW. Yep. At the time, uh, for research as well, I had been working in interesting projects. Um, and then I realized the potential, potential of AI in, in space. This is how uh, my company started, Futurify, where we solve challenging problems uh, that are really hard to solve in classical sense uh, and improve. Uh, existing classical methods. Yep. So you're, uh, from what I understand, creating sort of an online digital shop for AI related tools. For and platform okay. that you can yep. continue building AI solutions yep. for your spacecraft or any, any So who, any who would your customers be? Who, which Satellite operators, remote sensing operators. Yes. Um, so the uh, people generating the data? Generating data, yep. uh, having satellites up in space. Yeah. Uh, think about this potential, you know, like we are making things smaller. Um, they are capable, but not that they're smart. So um, when you just deplete your battery, it's gone. Yeah. What if you have smart in, in, in orbit, yeah. right? And process and understand when you shouldn't do something else, right? And you should do maybe stop doing it. So this is one example. Um, right now we are sending all the information, remote sensing perspective down here. What if we just process it, clean, yep. get the actionable insight, timely manner? So this is another example that uh, AI in orbit can be used. And this is what we call like space edge AI. Yep. But the missing component, if you look at like, oh, okay, there are some companies building hardware, right? But when we say AI, AI needs to evolve in time as well. It drifts, data changes, its quality decreases. So this is what we offer. We just give the whole suite from shop to building those algorithms, making sure they'll work at system level and mission level. What I mean is, if you have a model that's complex um, in a very low swap device, it can just, memory footprint can be a problem. Yeah. Um, it can heat up, it can suck all the battery power. So what you need to do, make sure in digital version of your mission and your model, it will work and yeah. then push to your spacecraft. So this is why we call, yes. we are yes. enabling companies to build trusted AI for solving their problems. Is there any particular tool sets that you're working on? Uh, AI is a very general term. Uh, uh, or are you using yeah. traditional algorithms and are just applying no. it for different data sets or? We, well, yeah, okay. So we don't distinguish, to be honest, any, like uh, in general, we call AI classical algorithms, yep. machine learning algorithms and deep learning as well. Um, but our algorithms are based on um, mostly really learnable, so like deep learning types. We always improve uh, in time. If data changes, we just revisit the right. quality and improve it. And it's not like, oh, okay, this is one solution. I give it to you. Check it in the um, uh, spacecraft and it will do job. No, no, no. It needs to evolve. You need to have tens of this. This is narrow intelligent algorithm. Yeah. So it does one thing, one thing only. So this is not a viable business if you get just one hardware and one solution. You need to be able to, on top of everything else, like build more, improve. If it drifts, revisit. And this is the future. We will have constellations, swarms of small satellites, self-organizing, making decisions, right, to some extent, whenever they need to clean something. Yeah. Because this is how you scale. We don't have enough manpower experts to manage all these satellites right now. So this is where AI comes in and automates boring stuff. Yeah. And you are just doing the supervision. What, what's your business model likely to be? A subscription? Uh, subscription yeah. based. Yeah. So basically it's like yearly, um, but our customers use like monthly as well. Yeah. And since it has two 
components. One is rapid AI development in a no-code environment. The other component is the digital engineering, digital twin component. So some of our customers just leverage one of them as well. So it's yeah. very flexible. Um, we are not charging for all suite if they want to use just, for example, launch operations. Uh, they want to just make it safe. They want to see realistically um, the risk associated with the launch yep. in any direction. They, they use our algorithms right. to do that. And what platforms are you on? I understand AWS and Azure as well? Yes, um, we use cloud, public cloud services. Yep. AWS and um, uh, Microsoft Azure are the ones that we leverage. And thanks to them, like, yeah, they support us. Great. Yeah. So your shop should be opened for 2023. What's your outlook for the next sort of 12, 18 months? Uh, we want to just get ready to make it easy to anyone else to just um, acquire the hardware and software. And then we ship this to them. They just put it in their spacecraft. Whenever they get the signal, it's on. Right. They'll just log in, web platform, and start the journey. So you're, you're building the hardware as well? I uh, know, we are not a hardware company. Say, right, yes. um, like Intel chips, NVIDIA, and there are local companies, yes. space age companies here as well. Like yep. we had some fruitful discussions with them. Uh, we are working with them and planning to use their hardware, but we put our software on top of it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Well, Dr. Razit Abay uh, of FutureFi, uh, yes. here, you were based in Canberra, but you're here in Adelaide. Yes. Uh, what's your, sort of, before we go, uh, the, the sort of the takeaways from the, uh, for the Space Forum, what, how, what's, what's your experience so far? Uh, it's amazing. Like, yeah. I, I met a lot of um, same people with same interests. Yep. And it, it was really nice to see amazing things that the other companies are doing in Australia. And in terms of like sovereign capability as well. And yep. um, this is, this. I think like after I, I leave, I will have, I'll be very busy. Right. Um, you know, putting down a lot of like grants and like having customers, improving our algorithms to serve them at the same time. So this is like right off the bat. This is right. morning, right? right? I had maybe 10 more fruitful discussions already, and I'm looking forward to the rest. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, we'll let you get back. But Razit, thanks for coming on Australia in Thank Space TV. Thank you very TV. much. Thanks for inviting me here. And I'm, I'm really happy that I'm here. Wonderful. Yeah. Thanks very much.